Freedom Foundation recently screened its new reality film series, My Lagos Diaries, a product of about a decade of filming various characters and individuals across Lagos. Watch this. Guests trip into the cinema for a screening of a special type of film series, My Lagos Diaries, produced by the Freedom Foundation Initiative. The series contained real-life footages gathered over 10 years following different subjects for first-hand experiences of challenges people face trying to survive in the city of Lagos. Many of the communities we visit are infested with drug addicts, barons, teenage prostitutes, and we've encountered all sorts of vices in working in those areas. On a number of occasions, we undertook risky ventures traveling by Kano to some of these areas. Once we chanced upon a woman who just had a baby in the most depressing and unhygienic condition. We settled fights between prostitutes and their clients. We faced the threat of area boys, drug dealers, brothel managers, and violent criminals who could not understand what we were doing in their territories. this afternoon features four stories from four different people whom we met and worked with over the last 10 years. From about 2006, working with staff and volunteers, we went into some of the poorest neighborhoods in Lagos to see what life was like for the people who lived there. We went to Shomulu, to Bariga, to Iwaya, to Oshodi. We toured areas of Ejibo, we went to Ijora, Ajegunle, we went to Onyigo, we went to Abongo, areas of Lagos. We set up our base in Empire in Yaba and did a lot of our work from Empire. From Empire, we then reached out to Akala in Moshi. I realized it was one thing to sit in our air conditioned offices and manage the programs of the foundation, and another to go into the areas where these men and women live and engage them one-on-one -on -one in an attempt to introduce the concept of transformation to them. In each episode, subjects varying from commercial sex workers, drug addicts, street urchins, or the characters are put through rehabilitation, and their stories followed for the next 10 years. Some turn out good, some relapse, and some even have their lives cut short. God, they wonderful, sir. And are they happy where we see my life change? Providing professional production quality is Nollywood filmmaker Ide Chukuma Innocent, popularly known as One Soul. It's it's not it's not a rehearsed kind of production. It's it's unlike when you decide to shoot a film for the cinema, and then you go and start making the film. 
Do you understand? Then you've done pre-production and then you're going on stay on set to film. These were cut on real time, real life pictures. Some of these footages were shot with camera phones, some were shot with professional cameras and all that stuff. So the only place I see things like this. It's um, on channels like History Channel, Discovery Channel. Um, but in this sense, those Discovery, History and Crime Channel, they, 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 they used what they call acting footage to replace some of their voiceovers so you could understand. But in this sense, nothing was rehearsed, nothing was acted out. It was real life pictures. So um, um, for the first time, I would say, it doesn't matter how professional I was in my area of department, I actually went through a learning process myself. So I, I saw production from a different perspective. I saw the fact that the, the, the creator of the, the project itself, um, Pastor Tony Rappo, he's, um, he's a visionary. He thinks five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten years from now. So he has been able to put these footages together for many, 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 many uh, uh, long time period and then bringing them together to make this perfect story you know so I was I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm wild I'm thrilled like I said it's a learning process for me and, and this is a different kind of film this is a film you take to film festivals for awards and, and you, you just can't beat them because they are real time stories they are reality shows this is a real reality show my Lagos Diaries ultimate goal is to sensitize the general public about the struggles of these underprivileged persons while providing an opportunity for interested individuals and organizations to provide support. These are big, I'm big, I'm big, I'm dying. It is easy, I say to my friends, to take for granted the privileges we enjoy, often forgetting, as I mentioned earlier, that the difference between us and many of the poor people we encounter is just the exposure to education and opportunities we have been blessed with. That's why I always say it becomes a responsibility for those of us who have these privileges to create lasting opportunities for others, however small. Things are going gaga now, just to stop.